What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to K-Drama Paradise. I am here today with another segment I like to call on my channel called You Should Be Watching. It's when I come on here and I tell you what Asian dramas that I think you should be watching. And today we are going to talk about a drama that I have been ranting and raving about for the past hour. This drama was also featured in a video that I did a couple of weeks ago about the most anticipated dramas that I'm looking forward to in 2017. And the drama is called Voice. If you've been following me on Twitter and on Facebook, I've been tweeting about this for the past hour and I've been going crazy. I have my notes here. I didn't take too many notes, so a lot of this I'm going to go off the hip with. And you, and those of you that have been watching my channel before, you know when I do these type of videos, um, I'm not going to give away too many spoilers because I want you to watch this, okay? So let's get started. First of all, Voice, the K-Drama Voice, it premiered today. Today is the 16th of January, 2017. It has 16 episodes and you can watch this drama on Drama Fever and you can also watch this drama on ODK. I'm not sure if you need a paid subscription for ODK and I think it's in English um, subtitles there as well. Okay, this drama is 16 episodes long if I didn't say that already. The stars, some of the stars and actors and actresses in this drama are um, Jang Hyuk who plays Mu Jin Hyuk is the main character and the lead female, um, her name is Lee Hanan. She plays the character of Kang Kwon Ju. And also, if you follow me on social media, you know I am Super Junior biased. I love Super Junior and all members of Super Junior and one of my Super Junior babies is in this drama. Oh my goodness. Ye Sung. <sighs> Lovely Ye Sung from Super Junior. He's in this drama and he is playing the character of Oh Hyung Ho. And I will put all the links down in the description box about this drama, where you can watch it, a brief synopsis and all that jazz. Let me tell you the premise of this drama. Basically, it's about a detective whose wife was killed by a serial killer. And also, he gets with, well not get with, but he interacts with a lady who works at the 911, or in Korea they call it 199. 119, 119, but it's 911 call center. So he works with her and she's had her, I think her father was killed by the same serial, serial killer. So those two have to work together to try to find this man who is killing all of their loved ones. But Kang Kwon Ju, she has a, a talent. And her talent is she can hear sounds. Like she can close her eyes and she can hear sounds that no one else can hear. Like there was a scene in the drama where there was a, the killer had like a weapon and he was scraping the weapon up and down the staircase. And she knew, she closed her eyes and she knew what kind of weapon it was. And she knew it was a staircase railing. She knew the weapon she, that he had in his hand. So she has a talent. And... Let me just tell you a little bit about this drama. Just a little, I guess this will, this will be a little recap of episode one. Again, I'm not going to try to give away any spoilers, not a lot of them. But we start off with this lady and she's running. She's beat up. She's bloody. She go and she hides. She has a cell phone with her and she hides underneath some barrels. She calls 911. The operator answers. They get her information, try to get, you know, where she's at and more information. And we see this man, and all we see is this man in his dark hoodie, and he's lurking around, and he's he's trying to find her. Um, eventually, the call is dropped, and uh, they have to the the nine one one calls her back, and he hears the phone ringing, and it gives her her location away, and 
it's it's bad you know so basically he ends up killing her i'm not gonna say how but it's pretty uh, it's pretty brutal so he kills her right and later on we see Jang Hyuk he's drunk he's drunk 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 he doesn't know what's going on the detectives call him says have you talked to your wife lately well your wife is dead and we found the killer the DNA matches your wife you need to get here now so he stumbles there where the location is crime scene he's drunk he's not aware of anything it's he, he's just a mess man oh I feel bad for him that he has to see his wife like this and that he's just, he's drunk you know he was just out with his buddies that's why he was drunk he was out with his buddies you know and he's a detective I didn't say that already he is a detective as well so later on they're in court court hearing and they're blaming the 911 operator who was Kang Kwan Ju on the call that day because his wife could have been saved but there were mistakes that were made and in the courtroom scene she looked very weak and frail and fragile we saw the guy that was caught he was on the stand he was smirking and smiling of course this makes Jang Hyuk mad and he wants to go up there on the stand and just knock him out but they hold him back and they take they you know they, they take him back and hold him you know outside and whatnot then a few years pass and we learn about um king kwan ju's um her her talent that she can hear things really really well so later on what happens is uh jang hyuk starts to work for or work in the same department as king kwan ju she is the manager of the 911 call center and she wants to make uh jang hyuk the team leader of the team so like when the when the call when a 911 call comes in the team goes out and they try to save the person so jang hyuk is a, is going to be the team leader of that team but the first time they meet of course it's not good because wounds are still not healed from him he lost his wife he doesn't know about her situation as of yet but he remembers seeing her in that courtroom and how she was trying how she basically lied and was hiding something you know hiding information and that just made him really really upset and rightfully so so those two are working together now and 911 call comes in and they have to work together so you know she gets the call and he has to go out and try to save the girl i'm not gonna say what happens but something does happen you'll just have to wait and see but oh my goodness you have to watch voice you must watch this drama it is so good i recommend this drama to anyone who likes crime suspense this is a very good one now you all know if you follow me too i have been ranting and raving about signal signal was my favorite drama in 2016 and i compare all dramas to signal this drama voice it reminds me of signal and if i didn't say this before just like signal this drama is based off of true events it says that in in the disclaimer before the drama starts any drama that has that disclaimer that this was based off of a true story it's really good it's really really good you you have to watch this i'm calling this right now voice is my this is going to be my favorite drama of 2017 i know it's early but i'm going to call it right now i called signal in 2016 and i know that was very very ambitious to do because a lot of good dramas came out in 2016 but I'm, I'm calling this one so if you like dramas like wanted or signal you're gonna like voice you really are gonna like this i recommend this drama also to a lot of my male viewers as well there is nothing romantic or cutesy about this drama at all mm -mm, none of that fluffy cute stuff if you're not into that then you're gonna you're gonna love this drama it's awesome it's amazing i will be reviewing this drama for drama fever as well i'm debating on what i should do if i should come on here every week and talk about it episode by episode like i did before and write about it on my blog as well i, I may do that because it'll keep me on my toes it'll keep my my channel fresh and new for you guys and it'll keep everyone updated so i may end up doing that all right anyway 
leave a comment down below if you've watched the first episode of drama of drama of voice <laughs> let me know what you thought about it um episode two comes out tomorrow this is a monday tuesday drama so uh, episode will be, will be released on mondays and tuesday but let me know what you think leave a comment down below let's talk about it um thank you guys for watching this video do not forget to rate comment subscribe do all three they're free for crying out loud and i will talk to you next time Annyeong!